Welcome back guys. You're watching today's platinum and in this video I wanted to give my price prediction of where Bitcoin's price will move for the next year to two years Okay, so if you guys enjoyed this video Please feel free to share it with as many people as possible because I think this will be a conservative and interesting perspective that I think more people should adopt um, due to the fact that a lot of people are just filled with optimism when really we should be looking at pr past price history and really face the reality of the situation that we need something specific to see another massive bull run from Bitcoin's price. So again, guys, please share this with as many people as possible. Uh, this is something I don't ask you guys to ever do, but I would really appreciate it if you shared with this with just a few friends who invest in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, because I think this information will open up uh, a lot of people's minds to, um, you know, possibly a different strategy uh, to take with cryptocurrency investing for the next year to two years. So let's get started with the video um, and let's just get right into it. So what we're looking at right now is the price of Bitcoin between the beginning of 2009 and the beginning of of 2011 so about a two-year time period okay and what we're going to be looking at is the time period between each bull run that bitcoin has seen in the past uh well since it's been created so in 2009 was when it was first uh created and first used um it was you know around one cent for a long long time uh, until you started to see some growth towards 2011 so between the time that it was first put out and the time of the first, the tip of the first bull run, um, it was about two years time period. So just keep this in mind. We're going to talk about uh, the time period in between each bull run. So from this, from the beginning of when it was created to uh, the first bull run is about two years. Okay. The next one. So this right here, top of 29 is what we're looking at right back here. So this is the top of the bull run right here, $29. So what we're going to analyze now is the time between the top of the bull run and the time that it takes for it to get back to that all time high. OK, so this right here scans from over 2011 all the way to the beginning of 2013. So, again, about a two year time period from um, 2013 or 2011 all the way to 2013 uh, took about it took about two years to get back to that price. So, um, you know, the first chart we looked at two years to get to that first bull run, this chart two years to get back to that price. And now we'll move into this chart as well. So right here, we see that price of $29. And that's what uh, we will look at back here, um, that price point of $200. So let me just make sure this is all lined up. So right, so right at that point of $29, right, we reached that all time high uh, that we had already seen and we continued the bull run. So from the tip of this bull run, how long did it take to get back to that point? Um, just under a year. So about eight months it took uh, to get back to that price point. So obviously less than two years of what we've seen uh, in the past two charts that we've analyzed, but about eight months. Okay, so keep that in mind. So from this point, um, you know, continuing this bull run, which we will look at right here, that tip of that bull run went all the way up to above a thousand dollars. So how long did it take for to return to that point of a thousand dollars in Bitcoin? So in 2013, it crashed into a bear period, moved horizontal for a while and began to swing up. And it took about um, from 2014 to 2015, 2015 to 2016, and then to 2016 to 2017. So three years it took to revisit that level of about a thousand dollars. So um, we have right here two years, two years, eight months. You know, you could just estimate at a year, and then three months here. So let's go ahead and jump into a little sketch pad just to kind of talk about this, guys. So right down here, um, uh, actually it cut out a little bit, but um, what I drew down there for you guys. Let me just erase all of this. Is two years, right? That first time, two years again. Oops, eight months. So eight months or you could just say one year to estimate and then three years so these are the times how long it takes for basically Bitcoin's price to recover back up to the all-time high after a large bull run so two years two years eight months you know one year and then three years okay so if we add that all up guys let's go ahead and do so two years Plus two plus point eight and then plus three divided by four 
So the average time that it takes for Bitcoin's price to return to the all-time high of the last bull run is about 1.95 years. So about a year and 11 months or a year and you know 11 and a half months or a year and 12 months. Okay, so either way, uh, anywhere from the lowest being one eight years to one year eight months to a year, uh, all the way up to three years. So let's apply this knowledge of what we just learned to the current price of Bitcoin. So one thing that I also didn't mention is for each bull run, you never see Bitcoin's price return back uh, to the price before the bull run started. Okay, right here, we never revisited the point before we started the full first bull run. Right here, we never revisit the point before we started the second bull run. Right here, the third bull run, we never, uh, let me just bring this back a little bit. We never revisit these levels down here. So moving on uh, to the current chart, we want to take that knowledge and put it into perspective. So considering we've never revisited the point uh, which we started the large bull runs, um, we have to apply that same knowledge to what we're currently looking at. So the, f the real point that we first started the bull run at is about 5500 Okay, so $5,500 to, you know, about... Uh, 5,800 would be the top area of where that bull run started. Uh, let me just zoom in so you guys can see this. Um, this would be the real point. You know, we had a bit of a retracement and then we just went launched on that bull run. You could argue and say, you know, we started the bull run back here somewhere, you know, 2,000, 3,000. But I'm just going from the point at which it first hit and then continued the bull run straight up. So anywhere, you know, from, from 5,800 to, I guess you could say about 3,000. Okay, so 3000 to 5800 is the price at which we first started that bull run. And what we just learned is they, we never revisited the price before we started a bull run. Um, we always, you know, had a bear period, but then we, we just moved horizontal. We found a long-term support, but we never revisited those, those prices uh, before we start the bull runs. Okay, so uh, taking that knowledge, we can assume that, okay, uh, the bull run that we last had reached an all-time high of 1100. So don't plan on picking up Bitcoin for you know 1100 uh, anytime soon. However, we could return to a price point um, you know close to that number, right? So uh, looking back through to 2017, we we hit that all-time high right right around this number uh, 1100 again, and then we continued this bull run. I would say. You know, we kind of started it uh, right around, you know, anywhere from 1700 all the way up to 5800. You could argue that that's where the major bull run started, uh, but all of 2017 was mainly, you know, bull a bull market, right? So, taking what we've just talked about, we can we don't expect Bitcoin to ever return to levels of I'd say two thousand dollars or below. So let's plan ahead and see where we can pick up Bitcoin for. Um, you know, in the coming months and the coming year. So considering that, you know, we're, chances are based off past price history, we're not going to return to a level of uh, below 2000. So I would say, um, you know, 2000 or above, you know, 224, 2500 is a support, um, 3000. And let's go ahead and write these down, right? So 2500. 3000 and we'll keep looking for other support points that's that we have seen with Bitcoin's growth. So that was actually like a 3200. So let me adjust that. And what we're, you know, this will all come together once we, you know, actually talk about what we're looking at towards the end. But just stay with me guys for now. So 3200 right there and we can also find some support, you know, obviously around uh, I'd say 40, 4,200 again, um, and then 50, 5,500. Okay, so go ahead and write that down. 4,200, 5,000, 55, and 5,800. Okay, this is the point where you can't really say anything above 5,800 started the bull run um, because from that point, from 5,800, we launched up all the way to about 20,000. So these are the price points that, you know, the lowest price point being 2,500, the highest being 5,800 that I believe Bitcoin could return to in the coming months. And I also believe something a lot different than most people that we will not see another bull run until either the end of 2019 
or the end of 20 or excuse me the end of 2018 being the earliest and the latest being uh, the end of you know 2020 possibly 2019 2020 so i'm either planning to see a bull run at the end of 2018 right about here so i'll just mark it off for you right about uh, let's see right about here or you know we can scroll even further um obviously the chart won't let us uh, let me see if we can get in on it on the Bitcoin chart. Um, that's not going to let us either. So either right there, just picture that this is, you know, 2019, the end of 2019, and this is the end of 2020. So I could, I believe that we will not see a bull run until one of these three points, okay, based off past price history. So either a year in between this bull run. Um, however, I don't think that we will just see a return back to that all-time high within this small time period. I think that would just cause a lot of havoc. So honestly, I believe that it will be somewhere between this area, I think is our best bet, between the one to two area mark that we could see a re, we could revisit this price and see the next large bull run go above that, possibly to 50K. However, the only way we will see another bull run is with a major catalyst. What do I mean by catalyst? We either need to see government regulation, a Bitcoin ETF, uh, global financial market driving more money into cryptocurrency markets, uh, global financial market crash, excuse me, or some other catalyst that you know drives new money, new liquidity, new hype to the market, resulting in a large bull run that we have continued to see over the years. And it is quite apparent that you have a you know an average of two years between each major bull run with Bitcoin. And considering this technology is still in the very early stages, you know. Uh, all of the coins and projects are still, you know, we don't know which ones are going to develop. Most most don't even have a working product out yet. We can plan ahead and say, you know, 2019 to 2020, uh, towards the end of 2020, somewhere in between that time period, I expect to have a bull run for Bitcoin. Okay, so in the next year to two years, let me talk about my strategy, guys. So this is how I expect Bitcoin's chart to look in the next uh, one year to two years. I expect to obviously have some, you know, fluctuations, but I expect the lowest point that we drop to is about 2000. Okay. So that may be the lowest, you know, we may move in between. And then I expect to basically have a chart look something like this, right? Obviously, there will be different fluctuations and everything, but um, you know, I'm just not going to draw every single fluctuation that I imagine. But that's what I expect it to be based off past price history. That's literally what we've seen every single time. After a large bear, uh, bull market, we see a, a large retracement and then horizontal movement on whatever low support that we have identified. Right? We see it every single time. Horizontal movement until the next catalyst that drives Bitcoin price um, and you know allows it to go crazy. So end of 2018 to be the earliest and then you know my pr my prediction is mid 2019 end of 2019 uh, should be when we definitely see a major bull run for bitcoin up to possibly 50 to 100k uh, per bitcoin okay and then after that we'll probably see a large tracement possibly to you know uh, 23 25k move around there for a while and then the next bull run i would i would expect to lead up to possibly 150 to 100k um, somewhere in that area if we continue to see innovations in this space so guys instead of you know expecting a bull run to happen tomorrow or even planning for it to happen by the end of 2018 the strategy that you should be having is to pick up uh, bitcoin ethereum and litecoin at and dollar cost average on the way down, right? All the way from 5,800 and continue to plan uh, if we go all the way down to just above before the bull run started. Um, I would say 2,000 is the absolute low that I would even consider. Uh, so you need to plan to dollar cost average on the way down and plan for Bitcoin to continue to drop. I know that's not something a lot of people want to do, but patience always wins, guys. Uh, there's no way that we're just going to see Bitcoin just go up like that that's not how markets work markets move in cycles guys and we just went through a very large bull cycle and now we need to see bearish and horizontal movement uh, that's just how markets work guys so what you need to do plan ahead for this you need to come up with your 
um, you know, 20 coins or less. That's what I always recommend. 20 coins or less that you guys want to start to accumulate for the long term for the next large bull run. Start to learn how to trade. Trade these coins. Okay, trade them daily. Trade them weekly. Trade them monthly. Trade them on the swings. You need to develop a strategy where you're not only trading and getting gains short term, but you're also accumulating those coins every single trade for the long term planning ahead for the next bull run. So I think this is a a, a prediction that not a lot of people may share. Uh, it's more of a conservative prediction that people don't want to hear. You know, no one wants to hear that Bitcoin may revisit uh, two thousand dollars or four thousand dollars or three thousand dollars right no one wants to hear that but let's be honest guys this is how the market has literally moved four times that i can identify right before the first bull run uh, about two years of horizontal price movement and then it picked up second one um to return to this all-time high about two years of uh, bearish movement and then horizontal movement and then it picked back up to what we saw here Right here, about eight months, um, pretty interesting case here, but about eight months until we return to this high of that bull run. And then right here, three years, guys, three years before we returned to this level of about $1,000 from this bull run right here. Okay, so we need to see an extended period of time where we are not seeing you know, major bull runs. We may see major spikes up, and then but drops back down. Uh, but I think this market needs more movement towards the downside and horizontal movement, uh, you know, building up the hype as well as allowing for projects to develop more and actually add more value to these projects so that people can come in for the next bull run and say, OK, this market is well developed. Uh, it's time for me to invest uh, drive more liquidity in more mo you know new money will enter the market and ultimately drive that price back up for another uh, pretty crazy bull run hopefully so again not something that a lot of people share um, and a lot of people talk about you know if we do bottom out at six at, at about 5800 I could see us just moving horizontal around here for a while and then again, possibly doing the same exact thing. It all depends on where the bottom is. But either way, guys, I do not expect a bull run um, for about a year to two years to possibly three years. Okay, earliest, absolute earliest, I would say end of 2018, because that would give about a year uh, between. But the absolute latest that I would expect is the end of 2020, would, which would give, or end of 2019, which would give around um, three years price history or 2020. So guys, you need to develop a strategy to plan for this exact, um, this exact play out of Bitcoin's price, because, you know, let's be honest, this is, this has repeated itself, uh, four times in the past that we have just looked at. So use these levels guys that I have shown you on the sketch pad, right? Use these levels. These are key support levels that we have seen in the past that you could use, uh, to possibly find the bottom wherever the bottom may be you know maybe the bottom is at 605800 which we're at right now maybe that is the bottom maybe 5500 is maybe 4200 is maybe 2500 is the absolute bottom guys we don't know yet but by studying our past price history and planning ahead and being conservative and also rational we can you know develop a strategy that will allow us to have massive success with this next bull run right let's trade the horizontal pattern which is always optimal for day trading and swing trading let's trade this horizontal movement for the next year to two years as well as accumulate the best projects uh, up until that next bull run where hopefully we will reap the gains from the work we put in uh, over this one to two year time period. So let me know, guys. Please let me know what you guys th thought of this video. And again, please share with anyone that you think would benefit from this. I put a lot of thought into this video uh, because, you know, I, I, I know a lot of uh, there's been a lot of pri price predictions put out there. And, you know, one of the channels that I follow the most, Data Dash, he actually said 50K, he believes, by the end of the year. But um, I'm, you know, I'm a little bit. I have a little bit more of a different opinion, although I, I love his content and I absolutely uh, love all the information he's provided. I don't know if I agree with a lot of the predictions saying, you know, we will either revisit or pass the highs that we've seen um, at the end of 2017 for Bitcoin. I think it's a much longer play out that we're going to see. I think this market is still very young and I think we have, you know, one to two years 
of developments that we need to see further before we can see you know 20k revisited as well as 50k to 100 to 150 250 possibly a million in the future okay this market needs to complete the next cycle which is you know a bear cycle and then uh, horizontal movement uh, leading up to the next bull run markets move in cycles always and you know there's no denying that we've just had a huge bull run and it should be time for a bear run and then horizontal movement uh, until we see that next catalyst um, that will push bitcoin's price up above that recent all-time high um, and hopefully up to possibly levels of 50k so guys let me know what you think if you guys need help coming up with your investment strategy planning for these next year to two years definitely check out our one-on-one -on -one coaching calls that's what we specialize in helping you guys come up with a, a specific investment strategy tailored to your needs your capital your time that you have to trade and all of your knowledge uh, specifications so Definitely take advantage of the resources in our description. And guys, please put some thought into what we went over in this video, as I think it can be very helpful planning ahead for the future. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video, and thank you for watching. Have a good one, guys.